enjoying the view this morning, getting my day off, starting off with a little bit of jogging. Not going to do too much. I've done entirely too much over the past week. From Wednesday to like Monday this past week, I like did like what? Over 28 miles. I clocked in 28 miles. I've just been going and going and going. Jogging from my place down to the mall at times and back, which is six miles in itself. Then jogging downtown and back, which is four miles each way. So I've just been doing a lot of walking, jogging, just you name it. I've been doing it. Like I said, I don't play. I don't play. But I'm feeling good, a little bit tired, surviving on like five or six hours of sleep maybe. But I'm still feeling good. I'm enjoying the view, even though it's somewhat cloudy. Look how low those clouds are over there. I don't know if I can zoom in. I'm not sure how zoom in will work with like this type of like view or whatever. But yeah, it's gonna be like this pretty much all day, but I'm still gonna get outside while I can, while it's not raining and make the most of it. So I mean, that's all you can really do with any any situations, like make the most of it, no matter what, no matter what. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this, but I'll check back in with y'all later. Like I said, if you're not doing something to benefit yourself, what are you doing in all actuality? Come on now, come on, make it make sense. You know, you gotta do something to benefit yourself. You really gotta do something to benefit yourself in life. But yeah, anyway, this is what I'm, in, this is what I'm doing. But um, enjoy your day while you can. Just make the best of any situation, no matter what. Try to find the positive and every negative. And I'm back home now. Um, we got some stuff from Home Depot. Hey, I got some things from Home Depot. Y'all need to know where it is. <laughs> I'm just playing. But now I always get stuff from Home Depot. Try going big lots. Big lots was closed. I didn't know they opened at 10 o'clock on Wednesday. I got there like around 9.15. I was like, wow, okay. So I got to wait almost another hour. So I'm like, it is what it is. But um, yeah, probably going to head back down there a little bit because I know I need to get stuff from there. So by the time I finish that, it's like half a mile each way. So by the time I finish everything this morning, and then I got to go to the post office. So by the time I finish with everything that should be about easily four miles done when it comes to walking and working out i already told y'all i don't play by any means necessary still walking working out just putting out a lot of work wherever i go like i say all the time if you're not motivated or determined you won't get to where you want to be you won't get to where you want to be just walking. I'm glad you children. Oh, said out loud. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> said out loud. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, like I said, if you don't put the work in, you won't see goals reach. You won't see success. You won't see nothing. You have to put the work in by any means necessary. By any means necessary. And that's with anything in life. That's with anything in life. So guys, putting in work, made a purchase too, which I'm proud about. Got myself a new bike, mountain bike too. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. So I'm happy about that. Um, needs a little bit of work. Needs um, air put in it, so I gotta do that later on. But hey, I mean, my other bike broke down about I know it was during the new year, so before the new year probably. So I've just been walking and jogging since then. I'm glad though, because it got my stamina way up and I'm not tiring out like I used to, which is a good thing. But um, yeah, really putting the work in. Like I said, hard work, honesty, determination, whatever, it gets you anywhere. But look at this thing, looks real nice real sexy. I like it. I like it. But like I said, you got to put that work in no matter what it is in life by any means necessary. By any means necessary. Or else you won't see change. You won't see nothing. Not unless you put the time, the effort, the work, the dedication into it. But yeah. So what I'm going to do is get back home and just relax a little bit. Definitely relax. 
put on you. I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, I'm probably going to update y'all again later on. But until then, y'all take it easy and y'all have a good day. Well, guys, I'm out here enjoying my day. Um, I got a little new addition to the family, so to speak. So to speak. I got a Granite Peak Roadmaster um, mountain bike. Believe it or not, somebody was selling it on Next Door Neighbor, I think. Or, yeah, Next Door Neighbor. I got it for like $25. Let me show you this little beautiful thing. Let me show it to you. Hold on. Let me show it, let me show it to you. Hold on. Here we go. Look at this. This is a brand new bike. It reminds me of like my, um, my um, beach rotor, my beach bike. Look at it, it looks nice, don't it? it has this almost the same type of wheels, big wheels. I can really balance myself on it like I want to. It looks nice. The only thing I don't like right now is my knees aching. But then again, that's what happens when you do like over 30 miles or so in a week. I've walked and biked today alone about four miles and I walked about five. So I've done nine, nine and a half miles. And then the whole week from like Wednesday to Friday and Monday, I did like between eight and nine miles each. So I'm up to either 34, 35 miles, maybe 36 roughly, I'm estimating. But after this, I'm probably gonna take a break for a few days because I don't know if I can keep doing it. But yeah, I'm just, I'm putting in work. Like I said, this weight's gonna come down to everything. Try and get that summer body. I got like a month, a month and a half almost to do it. But yeah, putting in work, as y'all see, I do got some snacks over and some other stuff too. I have a sweet tooth, so I mean, it is what it is. But I'm putting that work in. Look at that muscle. Look at that muscle. Putting the work in by any means necessary. Any, any way you can get work in, an exercise workout, I say do it. Do it because you're not only benefiting your health physically, but your mental health too. With me, I just be taking long bike rides or walking, just thinking about life. It just, it really helps to clear your mind it really does but um just wanted to update y'all let y'all see the new addition to the family it's a beautiful jet black bike too beautiful jet black one well it has some lime green i'll, I'll see what i can do about that but it is what it is but i'm just want to update y'all i'm getting ready to bike home but um until next time much love stay cool y'all peace so far today and all i've done about 10 miles a little over 10, maybe 10 and a half, almost 11. Blimey, me, bro. I tell you, man. I tell you. I've been putting in work. I am tired. But I'm putting work in. And it's raining. And it's raining. That's just great. I'll probably head back home. I'm right, not going to get rained on. That's, that's a bit much. But yeah, I'm probably going to head back home. But yeah, I'll put in 10, 10 and a half miles. So yeah. I'm tired. I'm a little tired, yeah. But I'll probably head back home. But today was definitely a good day to get out and exercise. It really was. Well, I'm here at home because that rain starting to come down. I didn't know. I thought I had enough time. I thought I had enough time. But yeah, I'm going home. And I'm tired out. Um, I've done well over 15 miles today alone. Just six miles walking. Then about another six, maybe seven with the bike, if not more. So yeah, tired, tired, but still pushing it. Definitely gonna take a couple of day break after this, cause I mean, my body is spent. Total mileage, probably about, if I did 32 by walking, and I did an extra 10, 15 miles, that's at least 42, 47 miles. I don't play, but at the same time, definitely overdoing it. On a week span, definitely overdoing it. So, yeah, tired out, but I'm still pushing. I'm still pushing. So I'm back home relaxing. It's 9.35. Watching a little bit of AEW Dynamite right now. We're like a week out or so from Double or Nothing. I've missed a lot of good matches. See, we're about a week out from Double or Nothing one week from Sunday so yeah about a week from double or nothing but anyway I'm back home tired did 14 miles six miles walking eight miles biking tired worn out 
Um, I'm gonna shower after wrestling, go off. I'm gonna take a few days off from biking. I'm probably gonna start again Sunday or whenever it stops raining because we're supposed to get like a lot of rain the next couple days or whatever. So we'll see how that works out. But yeah, like I said, stay motivated, keep pushing because nobody else is gonna do it for you. Only you can do it for yourself. Only you can do it for yourself.